Let's roll! Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I am currently a software engineer at Microsoft. I joined the company right after graduating from college last March. So it's been a little over a year since I started working. And today I want to share some tips that definitely helped me a lot and things I wish people had told me before I joined, but things that I had to figure out on my own the hard way. So hopefully this is going to be helpful for anyone who's going to join a company right after graduating. So without further ado, let's get started. So tip number one, do not be afraid to ask questions. This is something I honestly still struggle with sometimes, but more so when I was first starting because I wasn't very confident in how much I had learned at school. I just feel like I didn't really gain a lot of industry specific knowledge, but I think that's generally true for most schools because for most tech companies, the technology, the software they use is circulated only inside the company. So it's very normal for new grads who are very fluent in lead codes and data structures, algorithms to not know how to navigate their way through the company code base. I always had this fear that if I ask basic questions about those tools or the code base or how things are done, I'm gonna be seen as weak slash like naive, not knowing my way at all. And I was just not confident enough. And the thing that actually helped me come out of my shell a little bit more was later last year, there were a couple more senior devs who joined the team. Those people had years of experience on them, all right? And I noticed that they weren't afraid to ask basic questions um, in the team actually. Sometimes I'm so afraid, I just like ask one-on-one. -on -one. I'm afraid to post in like a channel about anything that I might seem as like a silly question. But those people are very forthcoming. They were just very owning up to what they don't know. And that gave me a lot of comfort because I looked up to those people. It makes me feel more justified and more validated that my questioning might actually be okay. It's okay okay to not know things as a new grad, especially because how school's curriculums are designed. We just actually don't know a lot when it comes to industry experience. Having an internship or two might help. I interned at Microsoft before, but when I came back to the job, there was still so much so much I didn't know. There were a lot more things that I didn't know than things I knew how to do, sort of. But yeah, one big thing is don't hold yourself back from like asking questions. If you gotta ask those questions, it's better to ask them earlier than later because if you're five years into the job and still don't know because you're afraid to ask questions, that might be a real problem. So make sure to ask those questions you want the answers to um, while you're still fresh. Do not be afraid that people will judge you because everyone asks those questions. Okay, second tip, uh, which is more like a, a mindset slash mental health tip is you have to accept that people exist um, in a very wide spectrum of skill levels. If you think about it, ever since we were in kindergarten, we were always dealing with peers, people my age, and we always start at the same starting line. Like whenever it comes to like classes or even internships, you just always are surrounded by people like you in terms of skill sets. But when I joined the company, I gradually started realizing there are some insane people out there. And this kind of sounds like a common sense, right? I think I knew, but I just never realized it or internalized it that much. I realized, I think first day on the job, people have 30 year plus experience. People have experiences more than how old I am. And we're working on the same project. And that took me actually a long time to process and be okay with it because I am the kind of type A personality who is very used to doing very well like in school and projects and internships. It was a hard pill to swallow to accept that people are gonna know more things than you and knowing that actually was comforting and freeing because going back to uh, my point number one, I think another big reason I was afraid to ask questions was when you were in like that environment with all your peers, asking questions sort of would make you look like you were behind. But if you ditch that whole mindset of competing on the same like track, you start giving up that toxic notion that we have to know everything. The absolute amount of knowledge we have now 
determines how good we are because that's not productive and it's toxic. I started adapting a more growth mindset knowing that as long as I can do a little better than myself yesterday, that's progress for me and that's something to celebrate. So instead of comparing myself to other people, which is unrealistic, like literally impossible in the work field, I started comparing myself to myself yesterday, a month ago, because I do feel like I have learned a lot um, in the past year. I'm very proud of my own progress. But again, if I adopted my old mindset, which is you have to compare yourself to everyone around you, which is ironically how we're trained in schools, um, I feel like crap 99% of the time. So this is an important mindset shift for me. And I think it's going to be helpful for anyone who's like a type A personality and a straight A student from school. Tip number three, be very open to communicate any issues slash challenges you encounter. And this is again something that might be unique to me. Maybe I'm just a little weird. When I initially like encountered challenges, I would try to figure it out on my own and don't get me wrong it's absolutely good to figure out things on your own because it helps you learn helps you explore and this is a necessary skill set as a dev but sometimes even if I get absolutely blocked I was hesitant to reach out for help or communicate that challenge I encounter again for fear of oh my god people are gonna see me as weak what if I get laid off especially in this climate right that's like a skill that I didn't realize I needed the skill to communicate the challenges which is honestly such an important skill for relationships workplace with yourself communication is so important and I gradually realized that being able to communicate a challenge to say your manager or your teammates helps out like things in the long run. If I'm actually blocked, I won't let people know now that I am blocked and I need help because this helps them in their estimates. Right? Uh, they, um, they know what to expect out of it so you don't miss any deadlines. But if you're trying to toughen it out, sometimes you miss that line, sometimes you finish a project maybe in a less optimal way than you could have been if you ask for help from some experts. Do not be afraid to communicate challenges you encounter. It does not make you weak or a novice or any less than you think you are if you don't ask questions or communicate your challenges. And the fourth and last tip I want to give is always have buffer time when you're estimating your project. I sort of had this notion, oh, I don't know how I got so many random ideas before I joined. When you're asked about like an estimate on a project, it's best to finish as fast as possible. And I definitely think I was underestimating a little. I was eager to finish it as fast as possible while not considering the overhead that comes inevitably in like team collaboration. There's so much overhead like negotiating, talking with PMs, designers, or when there are multiple dads, just multiple women giving birth to a kid, that sort of thing. There's always overhead. You have to wait for other people people's PR to merge before you can merge yours. All those times add to your estimate. And I did not realize that. And I thought what people wanted was I promising them I can do this as fast as possible. But I think more importantly, I realized people want a feasible and accurate estimate. That's more important than a speedy one. And my manager actually told me on multiple occasions that he prefers like quality finish over quantity slash speedy ones. And that's something I have been forcing myself to do is to not rush things for fear that I might look slow, but rather hone on my skills and then try to do my best on everything I like lay my hands on. That has helped me a lot also like in reducing anxiety over am I going to be too slow for the team because when you're like more focused on the quality, you really take your time and focus on the quality of the code you output and that has been working out great for me. 
All right, that's the four tips I'm giving out today. I hope you find this video helpful. These are just some of the heartfelt things I wish someone had told me because I know as challenging as jobs get, the things I struggled with the most was based on my unrealistic expectations of myself. We're smart people. We're going to be able to do the job part. But what I found more difficult, and this may be true for a lot of people, is that you have to have the right mindset and continuously focusing on your mental health health as well as how you can realistically do your best at the job and that involves a lot of mindset shifts when you're transitioning from school to a new job so i hope you find this video helpful and if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in my next video bye tj is just sleeping say bye bye